The Centers for Disease Control reports there's been an increase in cases of walking pneumonia among young children, which is sure to have some parents concerned. Doctors explain how this type of pneumonia is transmitted and what can be done to stop it. Right now, we are seeing a lot of all different types of pneumonias. Walking pneumonia, we're certainly seeing a lot more of that. But walking pneumonia can be different things. It's, it's usually not your standard bacterial pneumonia. Walking pneumonia is usually caused by something called mycoplasma pneumonia, but it can also be very, very similar to viral pneumonias as well. Dr. Sabella says they are not sure what's causing the rise in cases. However, it likely has to do with children being back in school and also the fact that we are coming out of a pandemic where mycoplasma was not circulating. Symptoms of walking pneumonia are typically mild but can be severe as well and include dry cough, fever, fatigue, headache and sore throat. Treatment options also vary based on the type of pneumonia. As for prevention, Dr. Sabella encourages parents to get their children vaccinated against bacterial pneumonia and influenza, which can actually cause pneumonia. Unfortunately, there is no vaccine specifically for walking pneumonia. There is a very effective vaccine against many of the bacterial pneumonia strains, uh, and every child should be vaccinated against this. We, we start vaccinating against that early in life. And that works very, very well. But because the pneumococcal bacteria has so many different strains, we can't protect every strain with the vaccine that's currently available.